Hey there, uh, Steve Christensen here, the self-appointed headmaster of self-important headmaster. Hey there, Steve Christensen here, the self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School. Thanks for joining us on this session and all of the sessions. Uh, a lot of airplay, a lot of people are saying, boy, there's so much content coming out. Primarily that's because of the lady behind the camera here, Madeline and Frank, of course. Uh, so uh, thank you for engaging, thank you for subscribing if you haven't done already. Do yourself a flavor, just uh, click on the subscribe button and uh, you'll get uh, just a little bit of ice cream news every day. We don't try to make them too long and drawn out. Um, I would like to think it's just five to seven minutes of goodness. We do want to thank our episode sponsor for this episode, which is Meadowvale. Based out of Chicago, mix company. They make soft serve, gelato mix, they make custard mix, they make premium ice cream mix. Some of the best chocolate mix you'll ever have. Eddie Kahina and Jason Leslie, the whole crew there, very, very helpful, great asset to your business. Meadowvale, thank you very much for your episode sponsorship. The link is down below. Give it a click, have a look at their website, tell them that the ice cream bloke sent you. Now, I love the way that conversations in the, and uh, uh, comments in the videos create more video content. And we did a video session uh, on reducing waste by using a scraper to uh, scrape the, all of the remaining mix out of your bag, the bag of mix. And then someone said, well, that's great, but what about uh, reducing mix that's, or ice cream that's left in the barrel after you've uh, extracted it out? How do you kind of reduce that mix or that waste? And look, I'd like to say there was an easy answer, but there's not. Um, hopefully what's happening in your production schedule is that you're using or utilizing batch after batch after batch. Now what I mean by that is that if you are putting your first batch of the day, which is let's say a vanilla, uh, and then you're putting a batch straight after that, which is let's say cookies and cream, which is basically another vanilla base, but you're putting cookies in. Then let's say you want to do a stracciatella, which is a chocolate chip, same thing, another vanilla run right on the back of the other. And then let's say today is your berry day. So after those three or four batches of vanilla, you'll put a strawberry in there. Now, is there residue left after the last batch? Absolutely. Is there a lot? No, not really. It depends on your extraction temperature and your extraction consistency, but there'll always be a little bit left over. And the way that you can reduce it honestly is the same way you can reduce uh, machine time and uh, labor cost in making ice cream is just continually running this machine until the the last batch of the day. So we've just run our strawberry, we might do a strawberry cheesecake, again it's the same base. Then we might do a raspberry which is a, a deeper redder berry flavor. Then we might do a mixed berry and at the end of the day that's when we would want to make sure that we're getting all of the product out. In fact at the end of every run you do want to make sure you get most of the product out of the batch freezer. Some batch freezers, I will say by design, are a little better than others uh, so far as extracting as much of that mix out as you can. But a lot of it has to do with the temperature and the consistency that you're pulling that mix out of. And you can see I've got two batch freezers here. This is the Electrofreeze. This is the Dasher from the Electrofreeze. And this is the Stolting. This is the Dasher from the Stolting. The Dasher is a vertical batch freezer. The Electrofreeze is a horizontal batch freezer. And you would say, well, if you're extracting out of a vertical batch freezer, maybe it extracts a little bit better because you've got gravity working with you. Not necessarily. The uh, Electrofreeze uh, extracts out pretty well the same consistency or the same rate of extraction as the Stolting. But if you are over freezing in the barrel and you're getting a lot of very hard ice cream product left on the dasher and on the blades, it typically stays there. Now, we talk about in Scoop School a lot the uh, spatula or doing a spatula test, which is at the end of the run, you would open up the gate here and just put a spatula under there just to check the consistency. I will tell you that I prefer to run a firmer product out, but when you run the product firmer, you do uh, run the risk of having more left in the barrel. 
And you'll find that if you're doing batch after batch after batch, that each batch becomes a little bit bigger. Because you've run vanilla first, you might put a little more vanilla in, let's say another two gallon batch, but you've got a little bit of residue from the last batch, so maybe you've got 2.2 gallons now. And it kind of continues to go up and up. And it's just something you need to take care of in the recipe production process. But just kind of rounding up on this, the way you can get the most out of your batch freezer and really reduce waste is doing batch after batch after batch. Uh, and on the last batch, whenever that last batch is, make sure that you're not extracting it so hard that it's clumping on the dasher. You do want to do a spatula test, just make sure that it's pliable and easily out. I'm not going to say that there aren't ice cream makers that at the end of the batch open it up there and scrape it out. By rights, when you've opened up the front door of this batch freezer, you've contaminated it, so you really shouldn't be doing that. Uh, but again, you'll want to have good practices, make sure you've got good production techniques, and don't freeze it too hard that you're leaving a lot of product left in the barrel. Just my opinion, might save you a little bit of money at the end of the year, enough for maybe the staff Christmas party or a new Lexus. Anyway, thanks for our episode sponsor again, all the crew there at Meadowvale. If you want uh, any advice on the ice cream business, leave a comment down below. And while you're leaving a comment, there's one of these things here. Just click on it. Boop. Just click on it. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us out. Keep on scooping. See you in the next video.